Here's your WNEM TV 5 news update. Good evening, I'm Jamie Sherrod. Here's a look at the top stories we're following tonight. A former assistant state attorney general has been placed on probation and must give up his law license after having a romantic relationship with a woman while handling her sexual assault case. The woman says Brian Cologe was a predator who used his position as an assistant attorney general to manipulate her. He was sentenced Friday after pleading no contest to willful neglect of duty. The judge said she wanted to give him a jail sentence, but it would have been outside the sentencing guidelines. Cologe's troubles emerged over his prosecution of former CMU student Ian Elliott in a criminal sexual conduct case in 2019, a case that resulted in a guilty plea and prison time. However, once authorities learned Cologe had an intimate relationship with Elliott's accuser, Elliott's deal was set aside and he pleaded no contest to reduce charges. Well, neighbors helping neighbors in Port Austin, residents at the tip of the thumb are helping each other recover after a June tornado destroyed dozens of properties. A recent fundraiser that included a silent raffle and cornhole tournament raised $10,000. The money was given to the Lions Club in Port Austin to distribute to people in need. Well, steady rain soaked the Detroit area, flooding highways and raising the anxiety of residents. Thousands had their basements wrecked by sewage during a tremendous storm three weeks ago. For some, the water is back. The rain eased, but forecasters say it could return after midnight. In the Detroit area, some highways below ground level are still vulnerable to flooding in any long rain event. Well, now here's John with a look at your weekend forecast. Thank you very much, Jamie. Let's go over the forecast as we're going throughout the rest of tonight and in throughout the rest of the weekend. We're on cruise control for about the next 24 hours, mostly clear skies. Temperatures tonight, upper 50s near 60. It looks like the worst of it could be a little bit of patchy fog for your early Sunday morning. Throughout the day tomorrow, you've got temperatures mid to upper 80s. We'll call it partly to mostly sunny with a wind out of the north northwest at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. We'll continue with the dry stretch as we're going into next week. Monday, warmest day. At 88, some could reach 90. We'll watch the chance for a few thunderstorms as we go into your Tuesday. Drying up for Wednesday, same deal on Thursday. Chance for a few more thunderstorms lingering into Friday. And then looking dry for the first half of next weekend with temperatures into the lower 80s. In the first one five weather center, I'm meteorologist John Gross. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24-7 for the latest news, weather, and information.